Welcome to my channel, The Climate Realist. This is part 2 of the series where I present an old prediction from the past, and you can judge whether or not the predictions were accurate. Climate scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, outside Washington, say the Arctic could be entirely ice-free in late summer 2013. The sea ice is decreasing faster than all the models predicted. Even faster than all the models predicted. I suppose that would mean all ice gone by 2011, or something like that. Jay Swally is the ice satellite project scientist at NASA Goddard. So we not only have the warming of the atmosphere, we have a warming of the ocean that's affecting this. It's been surprising to everybody, this decrease in the area, the marked departure. And this is what is suggesting to us that maybe we're getting at the tipping point. Be prepared for some seriously convincing science. He explains the concept uh, this way. Uh, if you push something like a glass over to a certain point <clears throat> and then leave go, it'll, it'll come back. But if you push it too far past the tipping point, then it's gone. Now what is happening in the Arctic Ocean, the sea ice is getting thinner, it's decreasing in area. This opens up the ocean to more heating from the sun. So it's very likely that the Arctic sea ice is now at this tipping point, where even if the climate doesn't warm anymore, stays as it is now, most of the sea ice will decrease and disappear at the end of the summer. Heard that. Even if there is no more warming past the year 2007, it will be all gone by 2013. Thank you for the information, NASA scientist. Mark Cerez is a senior researcher at the U.S. National Snow and Ice Data Center in Colorado. Up through 2006, in September, we've been losing ice at the rate of a little more than 9% per decade. That's equivalent to about 100,000 square kilometers per year, which is quite a bit. But what's happened in 2007 has just set an exclamation point in this. This satellite image from NASA shows the average sea ice in the Arctic over the last 30 years. The greenish area indicates the melt at the end of last summer. The key thing is that this ice that is remaining is now thinner. There used to be a lot of ice over here that was three, four, five, six meters thick. Mm -hmm. and most of that is gone. The other possibility is it could be worse than the models predict. And this is an example, a specific example, of the sea ice in the Arctic, where what is happening, what we see with satellites, is actually worse than the models had predicted. And he adds, those models are supported by ground-based observations and measurements. Paul Sisko, VOA News. In case you didn't know, there is currently still ice all year round at the Arctic. In fact, pay attention to the later part of the video. I've overlaid the current ice at the Arctic today to the map from 2007. You may notice a very interesting observation on how much has changed from the summer of 2007 to the summer of 2019. And this is an example, a specific example, of the sea ice in the Arctic, where what is happening, what we see with satellites, is actually worse than the models mm -hmm. have predicted. Mm -hmm. The key thing is that this ice that is remaining mm -hmm. is now mm -hmm. thinner. There used to be a lot of ice over here that was three, four, five, six mm -hmm. meters thick. Mm -hmm. and most of that mm -hmm. is gone. All but if you push it, too far past the tipping point, then it's gone. Washington. Say the Arctic could be entirely ice free in late summer 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. Did you notice the lack of change in Arctic ice from 2007 to 2019? Thank you again for watching my videos. I've grown quite a lot since my last upload, I really appreciate everyone who joined. Another video is coming soon. Be sure to comment, like and most importantly subscribe if you want more similar content in the future. If you want to support me in another manner, feel free to tip me a small donation for tea and coffee, the link for that is in the description. Hopefully the video was educational, and have a nice day. <coughs>